Part two of today's WPSD Local 6 Legal Eye. Once again, visiting with Joe Rohr of the Bryant Law Center, Paducah and Louisville. And the topic this time is divorce. Got a question? Give us a shout. Make it quick. one 6946 Number is right down there at the bottom of the screen. We have a question from someone who says, I owned a very nice vacation condo in Florida before I got married. But while I was married, we did a lot of renovation to it, spent a lot of money on it, and now we're getting divorced. So the question is this, given that information, is my spouse entitled to any part of that condo uh, in the divorce? Possibly. It depends on, on whether or not those improvements can be shown to have improved the value of the condo. Um, if you owned it outright before you were married, that would be your non-marital property, assuming you can prove that. But if you invested any marital money or marital effort, which is any money or effort that was put in after your divorce, as long as it wasn't money that you had beforehand, um, then that increase in value that was created by that effort or that marital money uh, would be subject to division um, at the time of your divorce. So it, at best, it would be a mixed marital asset, meaning it has a non-marital component from where you owned it beforehand and a marital component it for the increase in value from the renovations that were done, but um, all that would just depend on whether or not somebody could prove the, the value was improved by those renovations. We have a question from an anonymous viewer who says, my husband is extremely abusive. I don't want him to have any sort of custody of my children. I do have recordings of him being abusive to us. The question is this, can I use those recordings against him in court? Uh, possibly. It depends on it depends on the nature of the recordings. If it's a statement that he himself is making, it can probably be admitted. Um, if it is not something that um, he's on, say if it's a recording of the children or um, or anything like that. If it's if it's just a third party, probably not. If it's a recording of him, probably. Um, there's always, of course, the, the questions about whether or not the recording is accurate or whether or not it's representative of, of the entirety of your relationship, but um, possibly, and if you are in a, if you're in an abusive relationship, you do not have to live that way. There are resources that are available to you through the court system, namely uh, pressing of criminal charges is one route, but the more, the more ready route for you is probably the entry of a domestic violence order uh, and seeking the protections of the court, so I mean, you, don't, you don't have to live that way if, if that's the way it is. And of can protect you and your kids. Got about 45 seconds left and we have a question from someone who says I'm contemplating divorce. What can I do at this point to protect my savings and checking account? What about credit cards? Uh, well, I mean, if you're contemplating divorce and the money's already in there, there's not a great deal that you can do to protect it. Uh, assuming that it was earned during the marriage, it would be subject to division now at the time of divorce. Um, and if you try and squirrel it away or divest it or give it to your brother or anything like that, um, you know, you probably get in more trouble and it probably won't work anyway. So uh, if you're about to have a divorce, the best thing you can do is just quench yourself with your financial circumstances and your living circumstances and, and you know, the, the contact lawyer and, and see where you are. Joe Rourke of the Bryan Law Center in Paducah and Louisville has been our guest today on both segments of Local 6 Legal Line talking criminal defense and divorce. If you would like to review either one of these segments, give us a little bit of time. We'll post them on our website under the Legal Line icon. Look for the Bryan Law Center at WPSDLocal6.com.